Laughter is the best medicine. I hope Quasi is okay out there, Laverne said presently. The other two gargoyles in the bell tower, Hugo and Victor, nodded in agreement. Their friend, Quasimodo, had just left Notre Dame to help the young soldier search for the court of miracles. It was sure to be a dangerous mission. The only things we can do are stay strong and be hopeful, Victor said solemnly. Hugo smirked. How can we not be strong, he said. We're made of stone, remember? Good one, Laverne giggled. Rock solid. You know, that's not what I meant, Victor frowned at his friends. And both of you, don't you have any sense of the seriousness of the situation? Our compatriot is out there somewhere facing grave peril. Grave peril, Laverne said. Way to be optimistic, Victor. You've already got poor Quasi in his grave. I see, Victor said sternly. So you two would rather mock me and crack bad jokes than join me in my concern for poor young Quasimodo. Laverne stood up and brushed herself off. Why does it have to be an neither or thing, Victor? She asked. Just because we're laughing, it doesn't mean we're not worried, too. Hugo nodded. If we spend all of our time thinking about how terrible everything is, we'll go nuts. Waving his arms to help make his point, Hugo accidentally hit a bird's nest that was tucked into one of the eaves. The oxen nest squawked and flew upward. Laverne ducked just in time to avoid having the bird fly straight into her face. But then she tripped and fell and wound up on the ground. The bird banked upward still squawking as it flew over Hugo. Hugo leaped backward and landed on Laverne's hand. She yelled and yanked her hand out from under him. Hugo lost his footing and landed in a heap on top of Laverne. Victor stayed at his friends, who were trying to untangle themselves. Then he started to laugh. He laughed harder and harder until he couldn't, could hardly speak. You know, he said finally, I think you just might be right. I feel much better already. Love you. Night.